In this video, we analyze the clustering results of a social network modeling the face-to-face -face contacts between students and teachers across 10 classes. We do this in a top-down approach by incrementally increasing the threshold T that determines the degree of aggregation. Increasing the threshold to 0.35 separates the fuzziest child from its predominant community who actually belongs to class 3A. By selecting the node, we can investigate the membership distribution. This child almost equally participates in three communities. By increasing the threshold to 0.51, we can separate all extremely fuzzy nodes from their predominant community. We can then investigate these fuzzy nodes individually by selecting them. This opens the respective pie chart that visualizes the membership distribution of the respective node. A further increase of the threshold separates more and more nodes with decreasing fuzziness. At the threshold equal to 0.8, all remaining meter nodes are completely certain as they are rendered as circles instead of stars. Finally, the complete graph reveals that some children are preferably in contact with children from other classes. Hence, they were allocated to these communities instead of the class they belong to. Looking at the circular diagram of the complete graph within which the fuzzy nodes are positioned at the ends of the respective arcs, it becomes clear that all of these extremely fuzzy nodes are in strong contact with other communities too, since many of the outgoing edges are rendered in black. We can highlight this further by selecting the nodes. The only exception is given by a child of class 5b allocated to the community 5a and b. This child is actually solely in contact with children from its predominant community, but nevertheless fuzzy with respect to its community membership.